My name is Byron Martin here at Logies, and today we're going to be talking about edible figs or Ficus carica. There are many varieties of them that grow quite well in various environmental conditions. Here at Logies, we work on selecting those that produce fruit very freely in containers, particularly for those of us that are outside of the regions where figs grow easily outdoors. The fig cycle of growth is usually a dormancy, particularly if they're grown in a cool conditions where they'll actually be deciduous, drop all their leaves. If not, and they're grown warm, they can actually hold their leaves. This is a plant that was held in a warm greenhouse through the winter time, and these are some of last year's leaves on it. So those of us that are in the northern area of growing figs need to have a fig that'll begin fruiting quickly and then ripen quickly before the cold weather sets in. Once we get the cool nights of fall, the figs will stop ripening, and that's the end of your crop. If you get in hotter areas of the country, of course, that's not an issue. So there's also something else that happens with a fig as it flushes out of its um, winter growth. So here's a fig that was um, grown in a cold greenhouse, had dropped all its leaves, and then as it began to flush, you can see before this new growth came out, it put out young figs, and this is called the brebber crop. So it's very good to have a fig that produces a brevet crop, particularly in those areas where you may have a very short season. Two of the varieties that we have that put out very good brevet crops is Aishia and um, Desert King. Those are two very large yellow figs, but they, they put out a brevet crop that's very heavy and also very good for pots. The potting mixes that we use on these are just standard um, peat light mixes. They're pretty adaptable to most um, soils. Figs can get nematodes, which are um, insects that feed on the root system, so it's better if you use clean pots and use a soil, potting soil that is free of um, contamination of nematodes, which would be loam, outdoor loam soils. Generally, the pruning on them is done before this time of year. You want to do it um, in their dormancy or when they're deciduous, just before they flush growth is a good time to prune them. Figs will fruit on any growth that emerges from along the stem during the season. So on a plant like this, if I was to prune this back and we wanted to say head it down to there, <clears throat> there will be a new shoot that will come out of this and possibly down here that will actually grow out and produce figs this season. In growing figs, they can grow in a vari wide variety of temperatures. They can take it down into the 20s at night. If you're going to grow them that cold in containers, you want to make sure that you mulch the containers so the roots don't freeze and thaw and freeze and thaw in the growing area. If it's going to get very cold, that means um, below freezing for extended periods. Uh, we can grow them actually in warm greenhouses where they remain at 65 degrees. As I mentioned before, they won't necessarily be deciduous at those temperatures, but they still will fruit and anything in between that. The fertilizer for them is generally any balanced fertilizer. You can top dress with a granular organic. Usually the numbers are fairly even. Or you can liquid feed with a, um, with a soluble fertilizer that you put into your watering pot. Generally in the summertime you might want to do it every week or every two weeks with a slightly diluted solution of that. Um, if you do get too much fertilizer, you will burn the leaves, so be cautious on that. Make sure there's some clear water running through your pots. If you're using salt fertilizers, running through your pots in between your fertilizing cycles. The organic fertilizers generally don't burn so bad or if at all, so top dressing them once a month during the growing season. In terms of their fruiting cycle, they fruit pretty quickly. Usually, um, even young plants, which would be or oh, about this size coming out of a four inch pot will fruit the first year for you. So we're here in the beginning of spring, early summer, and it is really a time when uh, figs are flushing growth very heavily and making their um, um, efforts to produce a good crop of fruit right now. So we put the, keep the fertilizer on and make sure we're attentive to the watering and away they go. So there's a little bit about growing um, ficus carica or the edible fig. Um, in containers and they are actually very productive plants and do quite well. If you have more questions about this you can visit our website at logis.com